A Singapore PR status has no expiry or time limit. But what if one leaves Singapore without a valid re-entry permit or REP? What is REP? Who is eligible for renewal of REP? And what is the criteria to renew your REP? So we'll find out all this today. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Kay from The Immigration People. In this channel, my partner Elena and I will share tips, guidance and updates about Singapore immigration matters. Be sure to check out our other videos too. So without further ado, let's start on today's topic, Re-Entry Permit for Singapore PR. REP is short for Re-Entry Permit. A valid REP allows a Singapore PR to retain his PR status when travelling out of Singapore. When a Singapore PR leaves Singapore or remains overseas with an expired REP, he will also lose his PR status. PR must try to submit their REP renewal application within three months from the date of their REP expiry. If someone's REP is expired, whether if they're in Singapore or they're based overseas, they have to quickly launch an application with ICA online. If their REP has expired and they're based overseas and there's a need for them to come into Singapore, this is where they need to come in as a tourist and they should apply for tourist visa if there's a visa requirement. Afterwards, they should approach ICA for reinstatement of their REP. If reinstatement fail, they probably have to get a work pass and reapply for their PR application. This is the case where you should speak to a professional. To be eligible for REP renewal, you must be a Singapore PR holding onto a valid travel document. There is no official documents required to apply for your REP. However, there are certain information that ICA will be asking for, and they are valid travel documents, as I mentioned earlier, your latest educational qualification, your proof of employment and your existing business operations. And if you're below 21 years old, ICA will also ask for your birth certificate and your parents' IC. Generally, if you have been living in Singapore at least for two and a half years out of this five years duration, and you are working in Singapore, you should be able to get your REP renewed. ICA can reject your REP renewal. ICA will evaluate each applicant's circumstances at the point of their application, such as your employment status and your contribution to Singapore, like your CPF and your income tax. For PR who has reached their retirement age, rest assured ICA will look at your past contribution and will not just stop renewing your PR once you are at your retirement age. There is also this situation whereby someone has just gotten their PR and they have moved out and do not stay in Singapore for some time. In these circumstances, there are chances that you will only get your REP renewed for one year in a shorter period of time or they may even reject your REP renewal. Generally, approval of your REP application takes around one working day if you are living in Singapore. However, it may stretch a bit longer if you are unable to meet the renewal criteria or when ICA come back and ask for additional documents to support your REP renewal. All in all, you should be able to renew your REP by yourself because it is a pretty straightforward process if you are working and living in Singapore. However, if you're foreseeing yourself facing difficulty in your REP renewal, you should speak to a professional like the immigration people. Leave us a comment if you're facing any difficulty or if you have any specific scenario that you wish to discuss with us, you can always call us or email us. If you find today's video is very useful, remember to like and share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel so you will not miss out on our weekly new content and we'll see you next week. Bye!